Hey what's up guys, Tanmaya for Simple Snippets and in this video tutorial we are going to be looking into the combinational circuits and specifically talking about half adder. So before we start off with the half adder combinational circuit, basically combinational circuits are logic gates which are combined in a particular pattern to get a certain output. So before we actually go into combinational circuits and half adder you need to know what boolean algebra is and you also need to know the basic logic gates. So if you don't know what those are, you can check out the videos from this playlist and we've discussed all the basic fundamental logic gates as well as equation forming and expression simplification. So we need all those concepts in this tutorial. So now coming back to the combinational circuits that is half adder in this case. A half adder is a combinational arithmetic cir circuit that adds two numbers and produces a sum and a carry as the output. So we already know how to add two binary numbers. So if you don't know binary addition you can also check that video. So now here I have drawn a truth table and we have a and b as inputs and we are going to perform binary addition or you can also consider this as an OR operation. So now let's see the sum of binary addition. So we know 0 and 0 is going to give us a sum of 0 because A or B would give us 0 if both of them are 0 and again carry would be 0 because there is no number which is carried forward. So I hope you know binary addition as well. So for example, if we have 0, 0, 1 and we have 0, 0, 1 again. So if you add this, we get 0 and then we get a carry. So this number is carried forward. Now if you don't know how binary addition, you can check out the video as I mentioned earlier. So we'll just fill out this truth table. So in the second case, we have sum of 1 because 0 or 1 is going to give us 1. Then we have 1 or 0 which is again going to give us 1. And the last case is different because in this case 1 plus 1 or 1 or 1 is going to give us 0 and 1 is going to get carried. So this is this scenario wherein we have this case. So 1 plus 1 is going to give us 0 and this 1 is going to get carried. So this is why we have a sum column as well as a carry column. In all other cases, the carry is going to be 0. So now this is the binary addition truth table and this is what we are going to create using a half adder. So notice that we have two inputs and we have two different outputs. So we also need a sum and we also need a carry. So let's first talk about sum. Now you need to check out this pattern. So we need to generate 0 when both the numbers or both the inputs are 0. We need to generate output as 1 when odd number of inputs are 1 and we again need to create an output of 0 when the even inputs are high or the even inputs are 1. So this scenario is pretty much the case of an XOR gate. Now we've discussed what an XOR gate is and if you don't know what an XOR gate is you can check out the video in this playlist. So let me just draw an XOR gate. So we have two inputs A and B and then we have an XOR gate and the output over here is going to be the sum which is given by the expression of a x or b. Now this is the xor notation. So now we got the sum but what about the carry? So we need one more logic gate to create this carry output. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take same input from the a and b that is we are going to keep the input same but taking the same input we are going to provide this input to another different kind of logic gate and in this case you can see that the carry column is always 0 but only 1 when both the inputs are high. So this case is pretty much depicted by an AND gate. So in an AND gate the output is going to be 1 when all the inputs are going to be high. So now I am going to use an AND gate to create the carry scenario. So the carry is given by a dot b which is essentially binary multiplication. So this is the AND gate and this is the XOR gate. Now this entire setup is known as a half adder. So this circuit that we just created is called an half adder. So there is another combinational circuit which is termed as full adder and basically it adds three binary inputs at a single time. So we'll see that in further tutorial as well. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood what combinational circuits are and why we need them. Basically they are created to get a particular output that we desire and we have different combinational circuits which we'll see in this further tutorials as well. So I hope you are clear with half adder and if you have any queries or comments you can always put them in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.